Welcome back. Uh, our guest, Mr. Mahbub Murshid, is an accountant, and I'm going to ask him uh, a question relating to I know what does it take to be an accountant? I know tall, dark, handsome, and good communicator. Yes, but uh, what more? Tall, dark. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. Right. Stand. What? What? I, yeah, because <laughs> I understand. Um, it's, it's, it's a female. It's, an, it's, it's an English expression. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Uh, especially um, um, the Western uh, women, they describe that way. Right. Um, to be honest, what's really an accountants look like, how they <laughs> appear to be. Uh, I, the, the way it's portrays really an accountant, the picture, if you picture, is a t tall man, okay, tall, <laughs> not necessarily dark man, uh, tall man with a long overcoat, yeah. with a long umbrella, and very dull personality, I top, have to say. Top hat. D dull personality, very boring personality. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, when I, um, uh, I was meeting, I met my wife for the, before I got married, mm -hmm. uh, when she came to know that uh, I'm, I'm an accounting, accountant student, mm -hmm. she was worried <laughs> because mm -hmm. that in general, accountants are boring and whether her life will be miserable uh, to um, live with me for the rest of her life. So it, yes, um, I don't think but you I'm that person. But you proved her wrong. I proved her wrong. To be honest, I try to <laughs> prove everybody wrong uh, because uh, my personality somehow doesn't match with that kind of uh, the portraits of accountants. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's why some people, I don't know, uh, some people call me that uh, is you, uh, you are an accountant with, with, with a smile. Great. So uh, a smiling that smile accountant. I want to keep. A smiling uh, accountant. A smiling. Well, a man is known by the opinions of people who live close to him or her. So let us see. We have a video about uh, people and their opinion about you who are very close to you. Can we have that video, please? Mahbub Murshed was born in 1962 in Tangail, Bangladesh. Having acquired a government scholarship in 1982, he went to Bulgaria to study computer engineering. Upon arrival in England, 1987, it became evident that a qualification from a former communist country was not going to be easy for him to acquire a job in his field. With this in mind, he made the brave decision of starting from scratch and changing his career path to accountancy. After being in the shadow of a prominent accountant, late Mr. Zoha, for nearly 10 years and gaining the invaluable work experience, finally Mr. Mahbub decided to set up his own accountancy firm, Mahbub & Co. in 2001 in East London, with his younger brother Shah Arif. He got married to Nilafa Murshid, daughter of a pioneer Saleti businessman of 1960s, Mr. Mushahid Ali. Their son Naeem is currently doing his graduation in biochemistry at Imperial College of London, and daughter Nima is a GCSE student. Very driven, uh, very focused, and he's always had um, a strong ethos when it comes to encouraging education, and it's something I think everyone in the family has taken inspiration from. Uh, me personally, I feel that without Abu, I wouldn't be where I am today uh, in terms of education and in terms of self-discipline and um, all sorts of mandatory behaviours that most people um, find a chore, but I would find um, a blessing, if you like, something that Abba has given to me. Um, as a daughter, my Abba is quite inspiring in many ways. I mean, he's like, he's really pursued in his education, he's really gone far. Like, he was from a student to the position he has, um, is right now, he's done so much. And I mean, as a daughter, I really look up to him that way, and inshallah, I hope I can be like him one day. Um, it's not just education where I look up to him though. Um, me and up, my uncle are very similar. Uh, he has many hobbies that me and him both enjoy, like photography, gardening, and it's really nice to have a connection. That's not just through education, it's nice to be able to talk to your own dad just about generally things you enjoy. As an accountant, not only he balances other books, he also balances his life between home and work. Um, Mum and I um, have been married for about 22 years. As a couple, we're very, very different. Um, he's very hard working, very driven, very motivated. Um, of course, I'm very different, and I think our differences is what makes us um, strong. He always wants to take up new challenges. Um, 
that's the way we are different but I've always allowed him to be the driver and I enjoy that um, I like to be the passenger I think in our relationship that's how it's been successful I think the most wonderful thing about my book is that he's always given a hundred percent to his business but um, most of all he's always given 200% to his family and I think that's um, how we've spent the last 21 years together and that's what's kept us um, happy and secure. Mr Mahbub is passionate about photography and gardening. His amateur yet artistic photography is loved by the wider audience in the social media. He specially enjoys photographing nature and people. He also enjoys gardening which reflects in the landscapes of his own garden. In his spare time he also plays badminton, listens to music and watches cricket. I had uh, watching Mr. Mabu Moshit's family and uh, their opinion about the head of the family, see. And uh, <coughs> going by... Just to, uh, just to tell you that this two years old, that document... Well, this is... Opinions might have changed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is... Mabu uh, <laughs> says that uh, this is a two year old uh, video. It does not matter. I'm sure that opinions have improved rather than changed. Uh, uh, Mr. Mahbub, uh, I would like to ask you, uh, there are a lot of young men in our community who would like to follow you, who would like to follow the good example, who would like to become an accountant. Uh, I know that you were explaining to uh, me that you didn't have the qualities of those accountants, the, how he looks like and, and the, the, the appearance and all that, and that your wife was not convinced. But I'm talking about generally, what sort of qualities a man should have, young people, what they should do to become an accountant. If they want to become an accountant, what they should do? They should contact you, they should uh, join uh, a college, they should join a practice. They should watch this program. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, of course, um, uh, they don't not necessarily they have to follow my personality, my quality. Um, uh, they, they would, I hope that they would be better accountant even. Uh, mm -hmm. They just, the main thing is, hard work, hard work, hard work. Mm -hmm. And then it comes with dedication. And of course, you have to enjoy something. This is what I've done of all whole life. Whatever I've done in my life, I, I try to enjoy that. Even um, working in a restaurant, then uh, even in Bulgaria, and that uh, qualification when I didn't really achieve something, I didn't give up. I always try to work Hard, hard and enjoy. And enjoy. That's it. If the results come outcome is good, then it's well and good. If not, then still you enjoy it. And yep. Yep. Uh, Persevere. Absolutely. Don't lose the goal. Yes. The, 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 keep the, keep the, the hope. That goal is there. We have to reach there. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Mr. Mabu Moshid, I would like to ask you, I mean, you are involved with so many things here. You, you promote sports. You promote... Uh, the training of students uh, trying to become accountants. Uh, you also are involved with some other charities. But uh, are you also doing something for your native Tangail in, Dhaka, in um, Bangladesh? This is something that I want to say that to love your country, you don't have to live in that country. Right. It's, you can still do, not stay in, within your own community, in your own country. You still being outside the community, outside the country, you still can look after your community, you can love your country, you still can be a patriot. Right. So I, what I did um, when I had got something to do for my country, I started from home, which is where I was born, mm -hmm. in Tangail. And my father was education officer, district education officer. So when he retired, I was thinking that, he was, he was a very hard-working person. He, he couldn't stay even one hour doing, not doing anything. Mm -hmm. So we all brothers and sisters sat together and said, what we can do for a person like him? Because after retirement, he has to do something. Right. So what his profession was, education officer. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's put him somewhere he would be interested in education. He, he could be share his knowledge. Yes. His, um, because he was visiting um, uh, schools, colleges, and everything, then uh, he knows how to run his school, probably. Mm -hmm. So 
I started, I set up a primary, a high school in my village, mm -hmm. um, uh, naming after my father, uh, even while he's alive, I named after him. And mashallah is doing, to be honest, it's probably the, the best high school at the moment in my um, whole Thana, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. a Gopalpur Thana that mm -hmm. we are from. Mm -hmm. And uh, just because he's enjoying doing it, he's looking after the school. So after, besides that, I've done one madrasa. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's my in village as well. Uh, so uh, those um, very early morning uh, uh, children come to learn um, Arabics and, and Quran, Quran yeah. and other things. And Very commendable. And uh, Mr. Students. Mabu, we are running out of time. I would like to ask you about, you have some hobbies. And um, I mentioned that you were behind the camera. I know that you have a very expensive camera that you often ca carry along. See. Right. Um, no. um, <laughs> it is expensive. I, I, we don't often get to see the pictures, though. <laughs> <laughs> you will see it. You will see it. If you follow my Facebook, you will see it. <laughs> right. Um, Expensive hobby, I have to say, because the first my SLR camera I had in 1980, mm -hmm. uh, when I was in intermediate, yeah, and at the time not many SLR cameras, uh, yep. un unless you're professional, mm -hmm. you will not carry. Because this, um, I used to enjoy photography. It's something that we always say that yes, nothing beats your eyesight, but I would say nothing beats a camera yep. lens because that captures. Mm -hmm. forever, but you cannot me keep in your memory everything you see. So it's very important, sometimes you don't see something. You can, when you're looking at me, probably you're looking at my face, you're not looking behind what's true, happening. True. So, but when it kept, uh, taking a picture, it's capturing everything, mm -hmm. and you can visualize it yeah. later on. Yeah. So this is something, and I enjoyed, even after being an accountant, um, even in the weekend, I used to go out with my camera, going out of the country, uh, out of the city, taking pictures of the nature. Mm -hmm. uh, even uh, in a party, I take pictures of people, children, and lots of things that I enjoy. Even um, I really, my gardening hobby really built up my that hobby mm -hmm. of photography because mm -hmm. I wanted to take picture of the beautiful flowers, beautiful garden, a pond. Mm -hmm. So I created a mm -hmm. small pond, a garden in my house, a small garden I have, but I st still have done if for that one hobby and a hobby developed. It was great having you, sir. Uh, it is a pleasure and an honor. Thank honor you very much. Honor is all mine. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I'll share it with you. Uh, Mr. Mahbub Murshid is credited with bringing accountancy to your living room. Well, I'm taking the part of the credit and I have brought Mr. Mahbub Murshid, the accountant, to your living room. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed the show as much as we have today. We have talked about a lot of things. We have uh, journeyed from Tangail to Bulgaria, to UK to Bulgaria, and to uh, Tangail again. See, That's life. What we want and what we get are two different things. And yet, we have to persevere, work hard to make a career out of it. Thank you very much for being with us. See you sometime next week again. Same channel. Watch us on your television, your mobile, online and also watch this program soon after on YouTube. Thank you very much.